Okay, I'm almost done, but I did something cool here. I'll select the next layer, right? And when I go to put effects on it for the outer glow, what I did was, sure enough, there was a make default button here, and I had clicked it before, so now it defaults to the right settings. So all I have to do is click OK, and it works. Now, I have the wrong layer selected, so I have to make sure I have the right layer selected with the eyeball to do it. So effects, outer glow, and you can see it defaults to the right settings because I had clicked make default after I set one. So click OK, and that's a lot quicker now. Now when I go to the next one, this last one, notice everything is on. All these layers are on and there's all our effects that we had before. So it was registering on this last frame only. So what I'll do is I'll turn off all the eyeballs except for the last one that I want and that should fix the problem. But it is a cool effect to see all the other animations taking place and maybe I'd want to do an animation like that. Um, eventually. Okay, I should only see one. Yes. And now I only see one. And that's it. So now I have all of my frames arranged and all I have to do is save my animation. I'm going to save what I have so far. And we want to export this now as an animation. Let's go here and we'll say, we'll just take a quick look. Optimize animation. No, I'll cancel that. Also, on this last frame, the background has moved. So let's take a look at that. Here, and then the background has moved. So I want to make sure that I don't see that. So on this one, the background, notice here, you can see a little bit of difference here. So I'm going to select the bottom layer, take that down and then go back and forth to make sure that the background is in the right position. And we'll go back. Nope, that's no good. So we'll just take it up one and over one. All right, almost. And if I wanted to, to really get um, exact on this, I could just look for the corner here and try to arrange it to this corner that I'm seeing right here on the graphic. And let's see here, there, and on the last frame it's here, so all I have to do is slide it over just a little bit, and it should be okay. Or I could take it to this tree Okay, I want it to be right here. That's where the tree is. So then on the last frame, I'll go down here to this layer and then use the arrows on the keyboard to slide it over. And now, a little bit better. All right, and then I think if I go up one pixel, it'll be fine. Let's see here. Almost over one pixel and now it's in perfect position. Okay, so now everything is ready. I just need to export my animation. Let's do save for web and devices. And we'll, we've got GIF here and we'll see if we have animation. Animation, looping, options, forever. So to save, what we're going to do is, after I saved my file, save it really quickly. File save. We're going to do file save for web and devices and if we choose GIF, right, you have some settings here, how many colors you want. I'm going to pick 128 colors or we'll just pick the max, 256 colors. Um, transparency, yes, although we don't need it because we don't really have transparency in here. Um, interlaced. You could say you want it interlaced. Um, you can pick some other settings here, size, and then here's the animation looping options forever and I'll hit save and I'll save it to my desktop as animate baboon. All right.
right and I'll save it to the desktop okay and now it should work so if we go to the desktop we'll see it here I have it here somewhere here it is and we'll double click on it and opened up in paint window so it's not animating let's open it up with Internet Explorer and all right and there it is so if we open it up in Internet Explorer we can see that it is in fact animating